guest, uh, he is uh, holding the weight of a nation on his shoulders. He's the home boy. He's going to be driving the Australian Grand Prix. Please welcome him now, Mark Webber. <laughs> Now, uh, you've got the whole nation behind you as part of this Grand Prix. Is it more of a pressure thing or are you relaxed and thinking home crowned advantage? Yeah, a little bit of both, actually. You know, it's, uh, it's awesome to be here, you know, to come down to, uh, to Melbourne and have my first race in, in Australia. Phenomenal for sure. I'm going to have some butterflies on the grid, but uh, that's all part of it and I, I can't wait to, to get into it. Now, what are you uh, hoping to do the most? Uh, uh, finish in a place or just finish the race? Finishing for us is going to be a big, big mission, let me tell you. Now, explain to me, because I've, I've even heard, uh, I think it was Peter Brock who said that uh, if you even just finish the race, that enough is going to be amazing. Why is that so? Well, for a small team like us, Minardi, I mean, we spend about $100 million Australian year compared to Ferrari spend about $600 million Australian year. So, uh, you know, with all the, all the boring stats, but for us, a race, uh, the first race of the year always comes too quick. So uh, the boys have been working absolutely flat out the factory. So... Uh, these things are tuned to the absolute nth degree and hopefully our thing gets home. If not, are you hoping for maybe a, a, a Steve Bradbury kind of yeah. uh, Winter Olympics yeah. thing? <laughs> where everyone else just stacks it and you just put it across the line on empty... That'd, that'd, be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be useful. That'd be useful for sure. But, uh, yeah, he was lucky, wasn't he? That was great. He did very well. Yeah. Now, um, uh, when you're racing that fast, uh, do you ever get scared? You must when you're going 300 kilometres an hour. There's been a few occasions here, you know, when, when it's raining and you're doing 300 and you can't see, you know, gets your attention. <laughs> gets Do you have windscreen wipers? No, we just have a little visor and sometimes that... Even... With windscreen wipers on? No, we, we, yeah, they break down sometimes, <laughs> but uh, no. Yeah, a little visor and uh, even sometimes that fogs up, so just to, just to mess you So, out. what you're telling me is if it rains, it's just kind of good luck, kids. When you're out on the road, you know, it's, we can't, we can't yeah, help you. Yeah, the, they try and keep it as safe as possible, but... Uh, but have they not heard of windscreen wipers? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got them. This is open wheeler racing. Yeah, we, uh, we, we don't have them, unfortunately, so uh, we've got to uh, eat, lot, lo eat lots of carrots. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> so do you, ever, but do you ever get worried if it's, like, when it's raining or something like that, if, you, if, you, if, uh, the, if the car or the track smells fear? Yeah, trouble, Mark. yeah. Trouble. Well, <laughs> it's, it's the unexpected. That's when you get the nerves, obviously, when, you can, when you're not in control of the whole situation and, and, and when it's raining and you've got uh, the risk factor goes right up, you know, and things like that. So in the first lap of a Grand Prix is obviously tremendously uh, nerve-wracking in terms of, uh, you know, the danger goes through the roof because it's, everyone wants to be in the same place at 350 k's an hour, so... And, you, and you've had accidents, is that something like when you, because you've had some pretty bad ones, yeah. is that something when you have an accident, all of a sudden it's, it's, uh, it's hard to get back in the car again, or is it like riding a horse, you just get exactly. back on? Exactly, yeah, the best thing is to get back on her again, and, uh, or get back in it again, and yeah, it's, uh, normally it's your mistake, or can be your mistake, and, and you just learn from them. Uh, and uh, do you relax at all when you drive? Okay, let's say fine weather or uh, rain, but your team very cleverly put windscreen wipers on the car. Yeah. <laughs> Cruising along. Well, you know, beat Ferrari. You might beat Schumacher if it rains. There you go. Three, you're, going, you're going 350. Everyone else is yeah. just still 300. <laughs> yeah. Some of them have stacked. You're looking pretty good. Yeah. Do you relax? Do you cruise? Do you just hit cruise control and a bit of the stereo on? Mm. Arm out the window, <laughs> one hand sort of action. Do you ever get to relax going that fast? Yeah, some, you know, on the straights and things, that's a good chance for us to relax. But uh, like any sport, if you switch off too much, you know, it's like uh, tennis. They might get a setback off you again, so you've got to be careful. So you've got you to punish it all the way to the line. And what about superstitions? Do you do anything before a race? Do you, try and get do you wear nice, lucky underpants? Because Antonio could probably give you a He probably you? could, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice yeah. yeah, we had a little chat out there. Uh, <laughs> I never wear black underwear. I don't like wearing black underwear, and I always get changed in order. So, uh, you know, and why the black yeah. underwear? Just in case, like an accident does happen, yeah, it's blacks, okay for any yeah, messes. But if you see my suit in the weekend, the bloody thing's black from head to toe. So, ah. uh, defeats the object. But anyway, yeah. And how do you train for something like this? How do you train for going 300 kilometres an hour? Well, there's a lot of g-forces in Formula One, so we need to uh, to train like neck muscles and, and abdominally. We need to be very strong, so that the g-force is a little bit like a fighter pilot in some way. So uh, in a plane, so. A lot of cycling, running, swimming, a lot of endurance-based, uh, yeah, so quite a bit of training. The boys put a lot of effort into it. So, but what do you do? Do you, do you sit in one of those, like a Daytona thing and, and, and practice with one of those? <laughs> not quite as sports-specific as that. No, not quite. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be useful. Uh, so I think, I'm just helping yeah, out. Look, yeah. already I've got windscreen yeah. wipers and I've got Daytona. <laughs> I've got... 
you know. I've got. I'll ring the team on the way home, mate. I mean, See, maybe that's what Ferrari's doing. Yeah, maybe that's yeah. why they're going okay. They've got the Daytona happening, and yeah. just secretly, the, even a squeegee when you pull yeah. over, <laughs> just someone to wipe it down. Yeah, he's going to have trouble, I think, hanging on to the roll hoop, mate. When, <laughs> when he goes yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. But so, what do you, did you have a simulator kind of thing that you get to practice with, or anything like Not that? Not really. No, we do our testing in Europe. Uh, you know, when you rock up to the circuits, uh, you basically yeah. We have a bit of fun on the PlayStation, muck around, but it's nothing like the real thing. Okay, so when you do play PlayStation, are you are you more adept at it because of your training in the real thing? You might go to a track on the PlayStation which you've never been to before, and they're quite realistic in terms of the layout of the circuit. So you might have a bit of fun playing around with that, but you know, in terms of the actual feel for it, you know. I mean, sitting on your couch doing that is, uh, you know. So most of the tracks in the game, if it's like, say, um, uh, I don't know, I can't think yeah, of Yeah, Spa it. or Hockenheim or something like that in Europe, you know, they're, they're very, very realistic, very good. But uh, you can always press reset, which is useful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you start losing, hit yeah. the reset button. I don't like this thing. Yeah. And honestly, how was it for you as an Australian, being part of the Australian Grand Prix, when you were, when you were growing up, was it something that you uh, aspired to do and, and now you're doing it? Was it something, you know, you used to watch as a kid and thought, wow, that'll never happen and now here you are? Yeah, I, you know, I, I always aspired to try and race in Formula One, but I never really thought, uh, you know, you got to take each year as it comes, and, and I obviously got close the last few years, and then you finally pull it off, and to do your race here in Australia is, you know, I want everyone to enjoy it. Not, I'm going to enjoy it, but I want everyone to come down and check it out. And what do you, how, do, how important do you think it is to have an Aussie racing in the event? The knowledge of Formula One in terms of, you know, the people down here, they have such a good feel for Formula One, you know, these poor guys have got to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning and watch the races, so, uh, you know, the, the knowledge is great and, and it's, it's, good to, it's good to be and good for them, so it's, I think it's important, yeah. And how do you think you'll go? <coughs> we're going to finish and, and, and hopefully do Australia proud. If we finish, we're going to finish in the top ten. And if not, there's always the minis. There's always next year. Always the minis. Always the minis, yeah. <laughs> Please thank Mark Webber, everybody. Thanks, Mark. In the game of life.